how did you find the transition from working on the kind of agency side of doing what you were doing? You said it was about 20 years. At what point did you kind of start to get the itch to do your first business and what was it? Okay, so I I, th- I think, I, I, I suppose after about five years, I always thought, do you know what, one day I'd love to have my own agency. Um, and I think you do, you do kind of look around and you, you kind of, yeah, I could do that better than what they do and, you know. And I think for me, it was just meeting people and being with people. Um, but the first real opportunity was when I was working as a, a, a marketing director for a, a furniture company. And uh, the guy who, the MD at the time, was really hands-on, uh, you know, phased by nothing. Uh, and I learned so much from him in a very short space of time. Uh, and I suppose you know, in a bad way, kind of trained me up for me to leave and set my own business up. Um, but, you know, it, it was, it was great. And it was literally, and he kind of, he empowered me to do exactly what I wanted to do in the office. You know, you're, right, you're in marketing, some days I was doing operations and, I'd, you know, I worked on a whole kind of e-commerce project. And for me, it was a massive learning curve, but it was a real vital learning curve because it made me think, do you know what? There's some risk in here, but actually ultimately running the business looks fun. Um, so my Don't first business, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, uh, my first business was, uh, it was an e-commerce website and I was basically selling, um, glass, colored glass, uh, for kitchens and bathrooms. And that's what we were doing. And I, I, this was somebody I'd met while I was in this organization and, um, and that's how it all started. And the irony was that even though I was based in the Northeast, based in Teesside, um, 90% of my customer base were in the South because mm-hmm. uh, at the time when glass was just taking off in interiors and stuff. Um, so I, I had a team in the Midlands that was manufacturing for me, I had a team of fitters in London, and I was literally a glorified agent taking payment online and so forth. And um, and at first I, I loved it, thoroughly enjoyed it. And then suddenly I realized that actually once you've created something, that's it. And I, I, was, I was just running a business. And I had no desire to grow any bigger, bring people in. It was nothing like that. It was just, you know, it was a lifestyle. It was a creative. Thing. So it was the challenge. Exactly. Yeah. But it, I was just, that was it. It was set up. It was gone. And within about 18 months, it was like, I wasn't enjoying it. And the business was making good money. Uh, you know, we were making a good living for it, but I just didn't enjoy it at all. And uh, so I think it was three years I sold the business and I went back into the agency side again, which was really weird from running, being my own boss for like three years and doing what I did. Um, to going into a, a work environment. And I did feel a kind of sense of, I mean, the agency I work for are really good. And, you know, the kind of said, just, just do your own thing, you know, business development, what you going to so Went out there and did it. And yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And kind of thought, you know, marketing is, is what I enjoy doing. I love sitting down, solving problems, you know, creating things and seeing them grow and then moving up the next project. And so, yeah, that, that's kind of where I, I suddenly realised that actually you've got to follow what you're good at and what you enjoy doing. Uh, and, you know, and that's when it kind of led into what I'm doing now. 